It's happening. I'm officially moving into my 2024 Hovenichi Cousin Planner. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. I am so excited to be planning in the new 2024 Cousin. I've already done a whole setup video where I put on my tabs and also set up the inside yearly pages. I'll give you a little foot through of how that turned out. So my first yearly view using the colorful kit, the yearly index pages, I'm gonna be using that for my Instagram and YouTube. I also did it in a neutral version, which I actually am really loving. And then today I'm going to be setting up my December monthly view and planning. Now it doesn't actually come with any weekly pages to plan in. It does come with January, February, and March of 2025. Um, and it also does doesn't come with any daily section for December, but I found that setting up my December spread really helps get me in the spirit of moving into my new planner. I've done this the last couple of years with my new Hobonichis and I absolutely love it. So today I'll be using the new December kit from our Christmas Joy collection. The first thing that I like to do is put down all of the bases stickers first before I actually start planning. So the beautiful washi down at the bottom. These ones have the cute little sugar cookies. Are you going to be baking cookies for Christmas? I always love hearing what other people's favorite treats are. I love sugar cookies, but I think the favorite of mine is the peanut butter blossoms, like the traditional peanut butter cups with the Hershey chocolate right on top. Yum! My mom used to make those every year and I just absolutely love them. So I'm just laying down all of my date headers now. I also put on the December box over in the left hand corner. I like to cover up that big black box that they have every month with something super cute with our stickers. So I'm just finishing off putting down all of the date headers now and then I just put down all of the date flags and then I just noticed the pink on Sundays it feels like it is a little bit lighter than usual I feel like um, every year it's been more of like a deep red like in the yearly view where they had the red boxes but maybe it's just me if you guys think that the pink has changed let me know it might just be that the kit is making it look super pretty I feel like it matches the December month really well so I am loving it this month. So I'm just putting down all of the full boxes in the empty spaces up top. I love that I can put them all together and not separate them. Every now and then um, the months are a couple up top and a couple at the bottom, which is totally fine, but I love seeing especially all of these boxes right together. This one is my absolute favorite with the gingerbread house and the lantern. Oh my gosh, so, so cute all of these beautiful pink colors with touch of red and blue so beautiful all right and then next I'm going to work on my sidebar here now I love putting down all of these boxes on the sidebar I actually use it like very functionally um, where I keep track of my YouTube videos my Etsy videos and my personal things that I have going on for the month. Oh, and also it's not a cookie, but it is a Christmas treat. I love almond roca. So around November, I'm always on the hunt for almond roca. I don't know what is going on, but maybe it was COVID related, but the last couple of years, I have not been able to find almond roca on the shelves, so I've had to get them on Amazon. So I am already on the hunt this year. So my sidebar is all 
set up now and the base of the kit is all done so I just need to start planning so on my sidebar I'm going to keep track of my YouTube videos so in my yearly view here I have these clear sticky notes I plan on moving them over each month and writing the videos in my sidebar and then once the video is done I will write it in my yearly view this way I can see all of the videos that I have have accomplished for the year at a glance. I think that this is going to help me out tremendously. Um, that way I can prepare for the following year and keeping them on the sticky notes is I think super helpful as well. That way I can either cross them off or move them over to the following month as I am planning. So the first video I want to do is our brand new tab guide. I had so many questions and comments in my setup video about our brand new tabs. So I thought that a whole video dedicated to the new tab map would be super helpful. So I can show the A6 setup, the B6 setup, again, another Hobonichi cousin and week setup. So you guys can see like the large and small tabs in those planners as well. Let me know down below if you guys want to see that video. And then my next section is for Etsy. You can see these boxes only have four. I like to keep it super basic and have my top four things that I want to accomplish for each one of these areas. So YouTube, Etsy, and personal. All of the top four things go into the monthly section here uh, because I do have a business planner and also my Hobonichi Weeks planner. I don't like to over load my monthly view with a ton of other information like to-do lists and things like that. I like to keep it super simple and write down things that I need to look at for the month and then I move all of those other things into my weekly and my daily section. So these are the main things. So my new collection, the new releases, the newsletter, my personal is visiting my family for December, buying all of the Christmas gifts, of course, shipping all of the presents, and then sending out all of the Christmas cards. So those are my most important important things that I want to accomplish for December. So that will all be in the monthly view. I used to keep track of my Instagram and TikTok reels in the monthly view, but I have moved that over to the index pages here. So you can see I have all the little sticky notes of the Instagram reels and things that I want to accomplish for the month up here. And that way this is less cluttered with all of that information. I found that when I was writing that stuff in my monthly view, I would cross them off and then it just looked like a jumbled mess. Now my month is a lot more focused on all of the important tasks that I want to accomplish. And I also leave a little room for holidays, of course. I definitely like to add holidays because they are super important as well. So on the 8th is the beginning of Hanukkah. We don't celebrate Hanukkah, but we do have a lot of people that do. So I like to always include that. And then on the 21st, winter begins. I feel like winter has already started here on the East Coast. My feet are freezing and it is so super cold outside. And then, of course, at Christmas on the 25th, I grabbed the larger holidays for Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve as well. The other ones were the mini holiday stickers. So you can see you can put them up above or in your um, week's planner as well because they are super teeny. And then I'm putting down all of my little quarter box stickers down on Sundays. Those are when I like to have my YouTube videos go live and then on the 5th is the last day to sign up for our sticker subscription so um, if you guys want to sign up for our sticker subscription now you have until the 5th of December to sign up for our brand new February collection oh my gosh I cannot wait to show you guys February's kit it is so so pretty 
And then I'm just grabbing a birthday sticker to put down on the second. It is my niece's birthday on the second. I did initially put down a little box sticker, um, but I thought this birthday sticker would look so much better. So you guys can see our stickers are pretty forgiving on the Tamo River paper and the Hobonichi and actually in lots of planners the sticker paper that we use is semi-removable so you have a lot of time to actually pull it up just pull it up super super slow and you'll be able to move it around and play with it for a while so I'm just writing in my sweet niece Danielle's birthday and then on Sunday I have the YouTube videos I don't like to actually write down the the video until I've actually accomplished it so I'm just writing in YT and then leaving a space for the actual video so once the video is done I will jot it down here and then mark it off on my um, checklist on the left this month there's a fifth Sunday so there may be an extra video in December we'll see sometimes I give myself a day off but I always like to have the box there just in case and then I just put down a sticker for when I'm going to visit family so we're gonna celebrate my niece's birthday on the 4th we're gonna celebrate my birthday and of course Christmas and Thanksgiving all in one day so it'll be super exciting and then of course oh my gosh do you guys see Patty hi baby she cannot resist all of the fun little Christmas ornaments on the table oh my gosh I cannot wait to to actually put up the Christmas tree. I might actually have to do it early this year since I already have all of my Christmas stuff in the office as well. So I'm just grabbing a couple of the little countdown stickers to put in the December. I didn't want to put all of them, but I definitely wanted to give myself a couple of them. That way I am prepared for when Christmas comes. So I just have one for each one of the weeks for December. So I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed my setup. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!